questions on your guard and he will answer true. Control your piss compost properly to hear your soil and make you laugh too. So don't panic. Oh, it's organic. No chemicals to make the earth sick. Oh, don't panic. Oh, it's organic. That nature intended it. It fires you on your ticks, white flies, and fleas. Help to diagnose what's wrong with roses or trees. That nothing all turned away. Hi, this is Andy Lopez and this will gardener. Now we already put this raised bed together. If you take a look behind here, you see the raised bed. So it's already been put together, but we want to protect what we're growing. So today we're going to show you how to build a little system where it can water and at the same time keep your plants around long enough for you to eat. So we're going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to explain some of the parts for you today, okay? One of the first things we're going to do is make some bracket. We, we can use it. We're going to use using PVC and I'll show you the PVC lines. These are meant as a way to hold the units. There are one inch PVC pipes, you see? Okay? So we need, we're going to have to have brackets which will hold the, the lines together. This is going to, these are T's, they're going to be used to make the sprinklers and connect the units together. And these are 90 degrees that are going to be used to connect, to make the frame. And these are our little sprinkler heads here. Planet. It will please so don't panic. It's organic. No chemicals to make the earth sick. That nature intended it. So for advice to help your plants, why not give them this way a chance? You mainly control all pesky environments. They'll even teach you how to dance with them. Okay, so we're going to use one half inch PVC lines to work with. They're really flexible, lots of different ways we can use these. So it's one half inch PVC line to construct everything out of with. Water is going to flow through here, we're going to make a sprinkler system out of it, at the same time a way to keep the bugs and the creatures from getting at the plants. That's one half inch PVC line. This is what we use to cut the PVC with. So don't panic. It's organic. We use to put the screws on. No chemicals. Make the earth sick. No panic. It's organic. The way that nature intended it. Don't panic. Okay, so I have taken the time. We cut the pieces up. To where they're going to go. So I'm going to show you where they're going to go so you can see and then we're going to put it together. Here we have the, the basics done. We have the sprinkler system, the few heads have to come in. So all that's left, the water is close to here. You see this is top line is water. Do we have to hook up some sprinkler heads up in there? Which will water the garden just fine. And then we're going to be covering it with a shade cloth. Remember it's called a shade cloth, but it's, it's really a, for protective. Uh, in a lot of places that they don't use shade cloth, they should show plas throw plastic right over it. Uh, because it's usually colder, like if you was in uh, Colorado, this is why I did one so I did in Boulder, Colorado, I used, I threw plastic over it because it made a little greenhouse out of it and kept it nice and warm in there. We're now where it's warm enough, you don't need to worry about keeping it warm at night. So we're going to throw a shade cloth over, which is just shade a little bit of block, a little bit of light, but we'll let enough light in 
to grow the vegetables. The main reason we're putting the cloth over is to protect it from creatures like uh, rabbits, squirrels, and it will keep out other insects as well. We're going to make it so that you can get in and out of it. You know, you won't get in it, you can reach in it. Vegetable garden, the protection system together. We installed the sprinkler system in, that's working. And now I'm going to show it to you what we got, and then we're going to go ahead and put the uh, the shade cloth over it, which is the last step in protecting the bed. I have uh, finished putting the uh, PVC together for the and, and hooked up the water so that it, it gets watered automatically. And then we're going to be in the, the next step we're going to do is we're going to hook up a, uh, a shade cloth over it to protect it. Keep the, keep, you know, it's 30% shade cloth, so that means that 70% of the sun will come through. And we'll hook that up and show you. So, okay, so this is the garden. We got the raised bed done. We have the uh, PVC. It could be made out of anything you want to. Here's the thing. It could be made out of wire. You can make it out of bamboo poles. Anything you want to. We made it out of PVC because it's real simple. There's a sprinkler system going up the middle. And we're getting ready to hook up the, uh, the shade cloth to it. You can use needle and thread, but because we didn't have needle and thread, you can use anything. So this is regular wiring, and I'm going to use it to basically sew it together just to keep it where I want it to, to keep it. And then I'll go back and we'll tighten it down. Right now I'm just doing it by hand. This will basically keep it there. And so I got little wire clips. You want to take it and you just want to tighten it down. See, and then you bend, bend the end pieces. You don't want these end tips to get into people's, you know, it'll scratch your things. You just wrap it all up, and then I take it and wrap it behind over here, like this. And there it is. That's going to hold that there. So I'm going to take another piece, just pop it through here, take it over here and wrap it up a few times. Then I'm going to take my little handy-dandy tool, twist it so it's nice and tight. You see, just keep keep twisting it until this gets nice and tight right here see it gets nice and tight you twist it too much it'll break and you take the end pieces if you don't want the end pieces to be sticking out to hurt people or, or even scratch your nice new screening so you take the end piece and then I take this last little piece over here and wrap it out around the back over here for it and there we have it a piece and we staple the wood to it and basically all you got to do is lift it up for the bed. You put goes up here like that. That way you can get into your plant. Oh, hi. So, there you go. And it keeps the uh, bugs out. Here we have it. All, all completely sealed in. And to get into it, all you got to do is lift it up to get into it. See? So thank you very much. Happy growing organic, of course. Bye now. So don't panic. Oh, it's organic.